that they agree to anywhere you're watching me from let's start so i'm removing five inch from up taking my boss nine taking my breast point ten and a half taking my under boss thirteen and a half taking my waist sixteen and the length of the blouse take yours so i'm taking four four inch all the way down and up and then we roll them together so and on that boss i'm taking one inch this side one inch this side so that's and then we do the same thing then one inch this side one inch this side so that up i will take one and half this side and the half this side but if you want you can take one this side one this side so i will connect the lines i will join them together if you have your curve roller you can use curve roller so that it will look perfect okay So let's connect them and come back. So we have connected them now. So we are taking our boss measurement. Divide the boss into four. So mine is nine and a half. So we take the two inch there and add my sewing. My boss, my waist is nine. Nine, and I will add a two inch and my sewing. My hip, ten. I will add a two inch and my sewing. So I will take one here and then connect and connect all the lines. So our back measurement, take yours. I'm taking my taking seven and a half. I will add the two inch and then my so so i'm taking my neck remove the five before you take your neck so take your wideness of your neck i'm taking mine and the shape your neck as you want we connect all the lines let's cut this is the back one now I will remove I will take one and a half for the zip and we join them together so place the top one the front one and the, from the zip the mark Take your back measurement and they are sewing. So connect all the whole lines together. As you can see. So take your neck back measurement. So I want mine to be a deep small. If you want yours to more deeper is for you if you want it to low it depends what you want so i will connect it now so i will open it out now so Let's mark the dart for the back. I'm taking four inch. Four 
inch four inch so if you want it to done depend if you want it to stop somewhere you stop so roll the lines together and I'm taking half this side take half the other side and connect it to the lines so I will cut the I have one now and open the zip side so bring the front and cut the front out So we have cut it out. So this is the last one. We use this the landing to cut the lace. So yeah, let's cut the sleeve. So the sleeve is two step. So I'm folding it. And I will fold it again. And they take here round sleeve and divide it into six and mark and from there and take here length. So cut it out. So this is will be two. The other one will be lace. The lace will be longer. Okay, the lace will be shorter. So so let's cut the is that we come up so I'm taking remember five inch we are adding it now so there's the front so make it close let the the joining to be joining to be close on that up after that <coughs> after that we connect the necks through the neck neck and they take your back measurement and add your sewing so take one here for sloping and then connect it to the neck and taking three and taking three and a half and then we connect the neck through everywhere. So let's cut. I will use it to cut the lace out. This is the neck and less. You can see this is how you will look when you join them finished. So this is the back one. As I call the front, we also call the back like that. 